round was in Indonesia last year. Yeah. And then it was South Korea, Seoul. Yeah. Third round was in uh, Taipei, and right. fourth was in Thailand. Right. And uh, again this year we went to Indonesia, and now we are coming to India for the first time. And how were performances last time as compared to this? Uh, I mean, so last year, it, as a, as a gymkhana, I think it was very new for us right. because uh, this kind of sport we we have a fast paced sport called autocross. Yeah. It's exactly like what you have in. Uh, different parts of India. Yeah. So this particular gymkhana is a slow-paced format, and but it's very precise driving. And right. Like within one second, you will find ten drivers probably. Yeah. So it's like two the new competition. You know. Yeah. Who is there by a head by a tenth of a second or even one hundredth of a second? True. So last year in Indonesia, Team India overall came third in their first outing, and then personally, uh, by the time I went to Thailand. From 10th overall, I came to fourth overall. That's right. And uh, this year, because of the FMSCI having a selection round, uh, especially yeah. in Bangalore in the month of June, we got a lot of practice over there. And after the selection at the booth also, so in right. Indonesia, I came overall second oh. and uh, fifth in qualifying, second overall right. uh, lap record also set in the semi-finals. So, and uh, in the team uh, doubles, uh, we came third again. And now we are coming to India, so we have a lot of positive things on our side. But then the competition is really yeah. tough as well. So, with the positive results of the last few times, do you feel is there a buzz of confidence within the India camp this time around? There is a lot of expectation for sure uh, from the Team India drivers. Uh, of course, it's home soil also. So, but yes, we are also confident. But at the same time, we are not too overconfident because we have seen the other drivers. Personally, I can tell. That I have seen all these other drivers driving in the different in the countries and all that. And we are uh, competing with the top notch, so you can't discount anyone uh, yeah. from your. So Excellent. yes, that's the thing. Right. And so, how do you describe your driving style to be? I am not a very aggressive driver. I am kind of a smooth driver, and for me, the wheel spin. Basically, is eliminate the wheel spin on corner exits rather than having a very hard or fast corner entry speed and then losing out massively on the exit. Right. So for me, as soon as the wheel starts spinning and I think that it's the right time to shift up, I just go for it. And also, I don't unnecessarily over rev the car in first gear as yeah. is required in this kind of format. Like you're majorly in the first gear and seldom in the second gear. So that kind of driving style I have achieved through a lot of practice uh, for such kind of events, and then initiating the handbrake turn, especially in a 360. Like uh, I would say, you need to have the first uh, chuck it of the car uh, should be best, and then be as close as to the cone, and then just try to eliminate the wheel spin and release the handbrake at the right point so that. The car is also under momentum. Right. The engine does not bog down, and you are gaining momentum through the corner exit. And off you go. Right. So, do you think this rather conservative style of yours will so, benefit in the Auto Gymkhana, as compared to the other series? Uh, in the Auto Gymkhana, yes, but of course, like uh, precision driving is required uh, at all times uh, right. and in every event. But especially when like in. In a 400 meter track, you don't have. If you lose out on one place, you don't have time to make it on the other thing because it's yeah. just 400 meters. Whereas in a different format, you have 10 kilometers or 200 kilometers to make it. So you know yeah. where you have lost. You can gain back. Gain. Here, yeah. you're just given one chance. It's make or break. Right. So, and how complicated does it become when you know drivers have a lack of practice because there's just you know. A go on the car and not the different courses, so you have to learn all the courses, and you just have basically one or two shots. So Jimkana, basically, the first thing is to remember the track because if you don't remember the track, you can't do anything. Absolutely. No matter how good the driver you are, so course remembering is one thing, and then just giving it your best in that one particular lap is also the other thing which we need to focus on and practice on. So for those 40, 50 seconds or whatever it is, nothing should come in our minds. Nothing should cross in our minds. And we just have to know where the cones are, which is the next turn we need to take, and then just finish the lap. Right. So how does the home support motivate you this time? Being on home soil for the first time, the Asia Auto Gymkhana Championship, does it add an extra element of motivation? It does certainly for sure. And uh, 
and like I said before, I am not too overconfident, not even underconfident. I am in the right spirit and right zone that I know how I need to perform. And when I am in the car strapped in with the helmets on, then I am in a different zone. So that ways, yes, I know what to do exactly. Okay. Brilliant. And is there any one thing, one fact that is not so well known about you, but you'd like to share about? Not so, really. I mean. Awesome, you know, it's, funny. It's, I'm a decent bookish driver, driving uh, since last 10 years. Started off in a wagon art. So that actually like uh, helped me uh, getting the lines correct. And you know, wagon art is such a car, tremendous body roll and all. If you can keep all four wheels or all two wheels at least on the ground, yeah. then you know you are heading in the right direction. It's a big, yes. it's a big task. Yes. So driving it in the autocross and beating the 1.3 and 1.6 gens also with the wagon arm. Yeah. So I knew I was heading in the right direction. That's nice. a good show. Well, maybe any funny story that you've encountered on the previous Auto Gymkhanas? Something? Not really something funny. Uh, maybe some pranks you've played with some drivers? No, no, no. I just keep working on myself and just let the other drivers drive. That's, <laughs> That's great. Sure. Thanks, Achandir. Thanks. This is the final battle between Achintya Marotra and Adria Sepiato. The final, the grand final, the last one on the solo. This is what it's all about. Achintya Marotra from Team India is the first runner and off he goes now for the first 360. Remember, this is all a very technical event. Achintya needs to keep it clean, keep, need to keep it precise. A good and fast one can see him being Adria Sepiato of Indonesia, but this will not be an easy run for Achintya. Remember, this is the finest. Nothing here is yet for granted. This is more sport, a sport that is predictably unpredictable. Now, Achintya on to the hairpin. Needs to take a right turn here. A faint left. Takes a hairpin. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let us back our own Indian driver, Achintya. Let's give him a huge cheer. Let's motivate him for it. Now he comes and spins the car on the nice tail side for Achintya. This is amazing to see. He takes a nice 360 on the cone. Now just a final bit left. How fast can he go? Can he do it? With a 45.344. It's a past tail slider here. But he finishes well. Achintya Le Maroto, ladies and gentlemen. With a lovely run. I cannot contain my side, but I'm sorry if I'm misspelling words.